right, so it's been really hot in Austin. It's hottest time of the year, I guess. And this needs to happen. Sort of a little shade for our basil and eggplant because as you can see, these guys were hurting. The tomatoes don't get as much sun, so they are looking good. Right here. And surprisingly, the squash is looking good. So yeah. And so the eggplant is hurting a little bit. Marigold's looking okay. Basil looking okay so far. Oh yeah. Let that little puppy seed all over the place. And there will be pesto. This guy is getting the most sun. As you can see, he is not so happy, but I feel like they're pretty resilient. Hopefully he makes it through. Um, but yeah, Jordan, he's amazing. Check out this little handiwork right here. Yes, we have some tomato cages under there. A little tomato cage under here. And then it's attached to the main trellis back here. It's a good thing we're doing this because we ended up supporting it a little bit more there. Yeah. Looks great. No. Nice shirt. And Connie is dying to go up close and see a vole. She just wants that vole so bad. So bad, mama. And my neighbor's garden is looking super fab. There's an eggplant right there. I mean, look how huge this eggplant is. Huge. The plant itself. She's got a tomato. Some new perennials coming up. Those are going to be beautiful. And it looks like she has some other things planted there. Cucumbers, some sort of peas. Yes, it's looking amazing. So I need to keep up. Hopefully I score some more plants at the farmer's market soon. If not, we'll just have a little basil farm. A little basil tomato farm. And of course, marigolds. There will be so many marigolds. Anyhow. Yeah, so thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys next time.